Extreme One Tutorials. In this video, we will cover how to label 2D and 3D fusion data in Extreme One. This video is part 2 of our tutorial series. If you haven't already, watch our previous tutorial for an explanation on how to start with Extreme One. We will be using autonomous driving as our scenario. To fill our dataset, a data acquisition vehicle is loaded with a LiDAR sensor and a RGB camera. Luckily, Extreme One comes preloaded with data we can play with. Launch Extreme One. Enter the dataset page. Click Annotate. You will enter the data annotation page. In the middle section of the page, 3D data is displayed. On the left are four sets of 2D image data. On the top right are global classification labels. Just below the labels are results of the data annotation. We are working with 2D image and 3D LiDAR fusion data. Click the preview button on the 2D image. You can see the image data represented in 3D. You can also see the orientation data will be mapped onto the 2D image. This data is from 2D cameras. The front, rear, left and right angles of the autonomous vehicle are represented here. Next, we will show you how to create a new 3D minimum bounding box. Find the object you want to label. Use your left and right click with your mouse to manipulate the 3D image and zoom in. Make sure you are directly above the object. Click the keyboard shortcut of F from the oblique rear of the car. Click three times on each of the corners to make an open box shape. For example, top left, bottom left, lower right. A closely bound 3D cuboid will be generated. Select relevant labels and attributes. See the three images on the right side. These images represent the object from above, side, and rear. Observe the marked object. You can adjust the size and position of the bounding box. It can also be adjusted through keyboard shortcuts. While you are annotating 3D data, the left 2D image also maps the annotation results. Pseudo 3D frames can be generated based on 2D images. You can also generate a cuboid box here. On the 2D image, you can also adjust the size and position of the box. You can automatically pre-label objects with built-in models. Click on the small three dots next to the button called Run Model on the left. These are the AI annotation settings. Set your desired label specifications, such as data confidence. Click Apply and Run. The built-in model can be used for fast model pre-processing. You can then manually adjust the pre-processing results. You can make fine adjustments to make sure the cuboid fits the target object perfectly. Some objects are occluded or far away. Normally, these objects are not easily annotated. However, we can adjust the size of the adjustment point set in the lower left corner button. Use the slider to make the points of the 3D LiDAR larger. After amplifying, create a 3D bounding box. Also, identify the labels of objects through the 2D image on the left. These are the basics of 2D and 3D fusion annotation. We should practice more to quickly and accurately label objects. Try to use the keyboard shortcuts when adjusting the bounding box position. It is generally faster and more accurate. Finally, click Save and your results will be stored. Congrats! You now know how to label fusion data on Extreme One. Thanks for watching. See you next time.